In here, Bob. How was Chicago? Oh, it's lovely. It's windy, cold, mm -hmm. but full of beautiful wedding gowns. Oh, and how many did we buy? We bought one. <laughs> the most beautiful one. Excuse me, uh, yeah. Mr. Montgomery. No. Lucy just finished her PT for the day, so if there's nothing else. Oh, thank you, Gloria. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Right. I'm going to go check in on huh? Lucy, okay? Okay. Yes, okay. Bye. change your mind? Rose and I both changed our minds. You want Barbara on ice for a few days? So do we. Oh, wait. Rosanna's upstairs. Oh. Welcome to my team. Craig, let's get something straight. The only team Rose and I are on is Carly's. And for the record, we don't trust you from here to that gazebo yes, outside. I know. I know. Listen, just, just in case, I wrote a few things down. You guys change your mind. Okay. As you can see, it's very simple. Well, it better be. Because you know what? You're right. Carly cannot design with Barbara in her face. Yeah, well, don't worry. You follow that plan. Carly will have breathing room by supper. Now, are you sure you and Rose can handle it? Piece of cake. I'll be in touch. Oh, you better get yourself a good alibi, Montgomery. Pack in business, yes! Tell that she's tired, but she keeps at it until she's done every exercise. You're trying the dress? What now? Yeah. I can slowly unbutton it one by one. Oh. Huh? You better fasten your seatbelt, mister, because I'm about to go very traditional on you. You were not going to see me in this lovely little dress until our wedding day. Ah, well, who needs buttons? I missed you. Mm. I've missed you too. But unfortunately, I have errands to run, you know, for the big event tonight with Barbara. Barbara? Yes, Barbara. She's bringing her designs over from Monte Carlo. Remember? Ah, yeah. How could I forget? Henry, my partner and I are the brains here. You're just strictly for the heavy lifting. Capiche? Yeah, it's the uh, uneven distribution of labor that worries me. What do I worry about? Barbara's out of commission for about 48 hours or so. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bye. Sit down, Henry. Uh, I'm allergic to violence, Rose. Not violence, violence. No, 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 no. I'm just going to be in this nice, cozy little place with caviar in the fridge. She's going to be my future mother in law. Would I hurt my future mother in law? Hmm. The uh, woman who uh, turned your face into so much cray paper and then buried you alive? Yes. What do I have to do to convince you? Cash would be nice. I can do one better. You help us with Carly, you're going to get something, such a great reward. A warm feeling right in your heart. Rose, when I want a warm feeling, I'll order my martini extra dry, okay? I'll be sure to visit you in the slam. All right. It went up and down and down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, look what you made me do. That was a bold move, Marshal, splashing that X-rated photo of you and Miss Griffin all over the tabloids, and apparently it has paid off. She's about ready to call a press conference at the City Times office, as you suspected. You know what to do, right? Yeah, just keep my camera trained on Jessica Griffin. The entire time. Hmm. What are you up to now, Marshal? I'm about to go to a press conference. Are you out of your mind? They will eat you alive. I don't think so. I have a little surprise prepared for Jessica and her team. All I need is for my good man here to keep his camera pointed at Jessica the entire time and to never wait. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? Mm-hmm. You look feverish, Marshal. Are you well enough to go anywhere? You know, when I don't take these, I get a little, a little dizzy and nauseous. Well, for God's sake, take them. Not yet, you know. Not yet. 
Oh, morning. Hey, you're early. Good. Uh, we've got a few minutes before I'm going to let the, uh, <laughs> the press up. Why don't you make yourself comfortable and relax? And... Darling, you look stunning. Oh, thanks, Lucinda. I don't feel stunning. Well, I've got a brief meeting with an editor, and then I will be back in time to alert you when the barbarians are at the game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so can I get you some coffee or anything? Um, I'll take a glass of water. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll go out and um, wrangle the barbarians. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Mom, where are you? I'm in Lucinda's office at the City Times. Are you sure you don't want me to be there? Sweetheart, this is going to be short and sweet, and I'm doing great. Where's Ben? I don't know. I haven't talked to him this morning. Okay, well, just remember a while. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, sweetheart. That means a lot to me. Been with your mom? No. Not after the chat he had with you last night. There you go. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh all right. Jeez. All right. I'm so sorry. Jessica, you shouldn't be going through this alone. I'm not alone. You're here. No, I mean, Ben should be here. Why don't you just call him? If Ben wants to come, he'll come. If he doesn't, he won't. But he loves you. And I love him, and I would love to have him here with me, but if he chooses not to, I'll go through it alone. I have a better idea. Don't go through it at all. What? Leave with me. Right now. 